Hello, this is uh, CleanTech Business Club in our Green Hydrogen Leadership TV. And actually, it's so great because uh, today we are with two leaders, Alicia Eastman, uh, who is working for Intercontinental Energy, and we just met uh, recently in Dubai. So it was very exciting, and uh, you know, I couldn't, uh, how to say, skip this opportunity to speak with her uh, today here in Rotterdam. And then let me introduce also uh, Adamo Skrenci, uh, who is working for this company HRS. And I think he's one of the, uh, even he looks so young, he's one of the oldest uh, pioneers in the uh, hydrogen industry. At the end, we'll reveal some news. But first, let's start, you know, uh, why, guys, you are here. We're here to uh, promote hydrogen. <laughs> We're here because hydrogen is the future, and we need to make it happen now. And the future is now. Exactly. Yeah, Thomas, you know, as you said, the future is now. Uh, you see, if we would have uh, made this show, let's say, three years ago, we would all, uh, only have been for 30 companies. Now we are hundreds of hundreds. So hydrogen is coming everywhere. Hydrogen is not only the best friend of renewable, as I always say, and vice versa, because uh, the renewable is the best friend of hydrogen. But also hydrogen is there to decarbonize industry. It's there also to decarbonize mobility. So it's a huge potential in front of us. The wave is coming and we are surfing it. So I, I see that uh, Adamo is so excited that he was keeping the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but also uh, what I noticed that uh, the guys uh, in this industry are so busy. Yes? Like Adamo recruited like I think 40, 50 members. I spoke with Luke, he recruited also 200 members. And uh, yeah, I think you can... Growing. Our team is growing quite rapidly. And, and all of our partners, uh, we're announcing partnerships all over the world. We uh, four huge projects now, over 200 gigawatts of upstream power to produce, uh, what, at the end of the day, uh, 40 million tons of um, green ammonia. 80 million tons of green ammonia, sorry. But you know... Uh, and same for us, you know. Uh, the company was 20 people last summer, and we are today more than 82. So it's a big, big grow. A big investment also in the production facility. We are going to be able to produce one filling station per day, which means 200 per year. And 200 is the same number of filling stations that all Europe made in 20 years. So make just the comparison of the numbers. We are really scaling up. Yes, and you were seeing uh, a few seconds ago the team member, you know, because everybody is so busy uh, on the booth. So, um, Adamo, because we visited your company, yes, actually, and uh, we saw that you got like a 150 million investment, yes? 35 million investment. Ah, 35 million investment. We raised uh, 75 million uh, on the stock market. Ah, okay. And then, uh, as you mentioned, uh, it's going to be like, you know, production, which responds to the existing uh, market, yes, actually? Yes. Uh, it's production, of course. It's uh, industrialization. We need to scale up and to make reliable tools today. Demonstrations are finished. We have to go at scale on the market. So this is the first step. And we, are, we want also to have a common partnership. You have seen during the last months, every month, we sign a new partnership agreement. Why? Because we believe in the family of hydrogen. We have to work together. We have to accelerate and to be stronger together. Because together we are stronger. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and Alicia, uh, because you see, like, um, everything is so exciting. There is uh, big guys coming to the industry. We saw yesterday at the gala, yes, uh, sponsored by Shell, that all these big guys see the opportunity. And when we compare to the solar industry in the past, yes, it was very difficult to, uh, to, to, to start, yes. Of course, now solar is great, uh, big, etc. But at the beginning, it was very difficult. Here is uh, opposite, yes, because already all the, the big uh, guys, they see the opportunity. But on the other hand, uh, you don't think, I would like to ask you, because this is very important, you don't think that it's going to be like a bubble? I think, no. It's, fundamentals have changed. The reason that hydrogen is possible now is because of all of the progress that was made with renewables. Because we got the price of solar and the price of wind down so low, and then we're able to actually harness that power to make hydrogen, that's why it's gonna work this time around. And, uh, and in fact, I think we're gonna have predictions that are far more conservative than what actually happens. Equally, what happened with solar. Okay, gonna, I even if we're optimistic, I think we'll be, go far beyond what we, what we project. Maybe I can add something also. I think it's something that started and we cannot stop now. 
for different reasons. First, the society understood we need to decarbonize and there's no way to go back. The people want that. You know, you and me, we want and we're ready to support. And third, which is very, very important also, the financial institution is also following that because they want to invest in something that is good for the society and not only a return. Of course, I understand the company need to make business and make return. This is okay. So the, what is important now is not to lose the opportunity because we have everything ready. Uh, we have to make the framework available to start the business and the, the number will go down. You, you know very well the, the, the solar industry, the division by 10 in 10 years on the cost. It will come the same with hydrogen. And then we will have a competitive, infinite resource of energy. And uh, as you mentioned uh, before, and I think this was our slogan, you know, since I visited you in Grenoble, uh, renewables and hydrogen are the best friends forever. Yep. Do you agree, Alicia, with that? Absolutely, best friends, we need each other. Okay, so I would like to ask you because um, uh, we met in Dubai, yes, and uh, we already had like, you know, this uh, DNA connection, yes? yes and the same with Adamo. The DNA connection. <laughs> yes, and then uh, in our Cleantech Business Club, we believe, we believe, you know, in the power of united DNA. And now uh, with the launch of uh, this green hydrogen hub in our club, we would like to also unite uh, hydrogen uh, leaders. So what would be your advice? How to do it? Unite hydrogen leaders? Yes, together with our clean tech leaders. Well, I, I think this, this event is one of these uh, opportunities to unite everyone. Um, um, but any, I think any ways that we can do studies together, any ways that we can incorporate to, to make sure that we're looking at the entire value chain and logistics movement, uh, partnering up with everybody in that chain so that everyone kind of dovetails together. And, and that takes a lot of coordination and, and partnership. But everyone has the same goal. And I, I think it's there's so much demand, there's so much capacity that I think uh, it's not a competition thing, it's really a cooperation thing. So, my, so my, because because what we discussed also that uh, there is so many uh, different directions right now, yes, and maybe it needs to be streamlined, yes? Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's like, you know, when you were kids, you were playing with a magnet, you know, with some pieces of metal with a magnet and everything was going in every direction. It's time for the global to get a, to create a global vision, as you said, to align everything, to make business case around the value chain. And it's, it's really the good timing. We spend a lot of time in making production of hydrogen. And this is for me done. We are developing the application of hydrogen and it's done also fuel cell or not, steel, uh, ammonia, you see a huge potential of application. For me today, the really missing part is the infrastructure. Because usually hydrogen, you use where you produce. Or you produce where you use, you know, the same way. Now we need to think globally how we can transport this hydrogen. Is it going to be hydrogen? Is it going to be ammonia, LOHC, whatever? I don't have the crystal ball, but we need to think about it because the world during the last hundreds of uh, years has been always transporting energy from A to B. There is always places where energy is cheaper and where you don't have energy. Look at Japan, look at uh, Europe. We need energy. So we need to think about that, not to forget that and not to go back to the, to the think, small vision of being autonomous. This doesn't work, uh, will not work. So think about infrastructure, transportation, this is key and this is a massive challenge. So to make uh, like a global uh, hydrogen network, yes? yes. Absolutely, and, and that's why that we're actually looking at ammonia as the best vector for transport because that also can be used as ammonia. So ammonia fuel cells or in uh, normal ice uh, situation, I don't want to say ice engine because that's like saying ATM machine, but in an internal combustion engine you can use ammonia. So it's good for shipping, it's good for co-firing, and I think that's it's also good for transport, so it's a good place to start because you know you're going to have an application at the end as well. And then the cracking back is getting better and better, the technology is improving, the loss of energy is improving, so you'll be able to use it in hydrogen applications. So we can send the ammonia here to Rotterdam and then it can be piped into a network in Europe uh, to be used by refueling stations as, as hydrogen. Yes, because we met actually uh, last time in Dubai. Yes. And it was also very interesting because now, let's say that oil uh, producing countries, uh, they realize that they will lose their business, yes? Yes. So actually, uh, it's a way also f for them to um, get into the new 
It's an opportunity. Economy, yes. You have okay. to look always as opportunity. As Alicia said, Ammonia, when I was uh, at the beginning of Neon project, was a no regret. You know, today already 200 million tons of ammonia are transported around the globe. You can ship it, you can liquefy it. Maybe not for all applications, but at least a share. And let's do what we can do today, not wait for the final solution, because otherwise we die. Battery electric vehicles are very good for some applications. Let's do it. We have to take everything that is available today. And then we build new technology. Uh, can be, as I said, LOHC, liquid hydrogen, can be also a solution. Don't fight. Yeah. We don't need to fight, we need to... Work together. Work together again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> scale begets scale. I mean, it's a snowball effect. So you just get it rolling and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and our job is to get it rolling. Okay, so actually, uh, uh, during this event, we are launching our clean tech business club, Green Hydrogen Hub. And Adamo is officially our co-chair. And uh, actually, Alicia, uh, we didn't speak with her yet about the details, but uh, maybe maybe we can have like a MOU, yes, with her. Apparently, I'm another co-chair. No, because, <laughs> no, because I, be, I believe also, like you see in our clean tech business club, uh, a very important initiative is empowering women. Yes, because we believe that uh, uh, we also need women, yes, because everybody has complementary skills. Yes. We always yeah. need women. It's nice of you to take on someone as timid as I am, oh, <laughs> as shy, on. and, uh, uh, you know, a, a shrinking flower, really. <laughs> okay. but, uh, you, you know, you're right, you know. It's not because we have to do the opposite way that we yeah. need to take women. I think it's important to have different view. As yeah. I always say, it's good to interact. It's good to discuss, yeah. it's good to, but it's good to do, you know. Yes. It's not like only the think tank, but as you said yesterday, Thomas, the think do tank. Exactly. Exactly. This is important to do. So we start doing. We make mistakes, good. We learn from the mistake, but we do. And everything now is available. Yeah. Okay, so, so I think that uh, for today we can, f we can finish our interview, yes. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for recruiting uh, Alicia. <laughs> And thank you so much, Alicia, Hello. for joining us. <laughs> Alicia. And uh, so you remember from Dubai what is our flagship sign, yes? Well, uh, um, yes, yes, yes. Thumbs up for solar, but also thumbs up for green hydrogen. Green yeah. And uh, yeah. together we are stronger. <laughs> and see you next time. See you. Thank you.